my pain. Hi, I'm Bill Ramey. I am the uh, dude who runs Batman on film. So I don't know how many Batman fan sites y'all got to talk to today, but now you got one. So I think we you? found the, the king, right? <laughs> yeah. Pro- right I've mind. done this 24 years. So uh, wow, covered all of covered a lot of the Batman stuff. So I got to ask both of y'all: we are you, were y'all Batman fans growing up or what? Oh yeah, huge. Okay. We weren't we weren't really. Um, we had special TV privileges growing up, meaning that we only got to watch like a movie a week on the weekends. Gotcha. So when we got to go to the theaters, um, I distinctly remember seeing all the Batman films and just wanting to be a part of it. You know, just that universe in general. Uh, yeah. I remember like Poison Ivy, <laughs> Mr. Freeze, whatever the iterations <laughs> were. And, um, and also reading the comics. So yeah. when we when we found out eventually what we had signed up for, because we didn't know initially, we we auditioned and, mm-hmm. and then we got the part and then we're like, cool. So what is it? Oh, it's the Batman. It was uh it was a childhood dream come true to be a part of this. And and with that came uh came the sense of okay, well, we need to get ready because so many people love this universe yeah. and this story. Sure. Like we gotta, we gotta honor sure. it. So I gotta ask you both. Which one of you is Dumfrey and which one is Deaver? Or do you have any um, idea what I'm talking about? Of course we know what you're okay. talking about. Well, I'll just I'll just say this, you know. I don't know if they ever call Selena Kyle Catwoman in the film, do they? They do not. Oh, okay. Because uh I lots <laughs> lots of folks want to know if you guys were Matt Reeves, the Batman universe's version of Tweedledee, Tweedledum. Maybe, maybe not, it seems like, right? I, let me see if I can grab Matt for you. It might be something around here. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I had to ask. So yeah, what, I know. what was it like, just besides being cast, but to work in such a big, huge franchise series production like, like the Batman? Um. The amazing thing is is working with that caliber of talent in every department. Um, people do it and they and they've succeeded because they love it. Um, and so the scale of the production and every single facet of this production was was unlike anything we'd certainly been a part of before. And it's just so immersive, you know. They built like four square blocks of mm-hmm. Gotham, complete with like a you know overground rail system and a giant. Uh, fish iceberg lounge, which was also yeah. like a, a yeah. you know, yeah, fish spot, whatever those are called. Um, <clears throat> anyway, when you step onto those sets, like you're swept into the world. Um, and when you're around the costumes and see the makeup and stuff, you're just swept into the world. Uh, so it was, it, it's just so fun as an actor. Is it's like go play. Everybody was there to just go play. I know for me, watching the film you were involved with three pretty memorable scenes with Robert Pattinson with bat as Batman as Bruce Wayne. And then as drifter, Bruce Wayne, who's kind of Batman in disguise, mm-hmm. um, you know, with the, uh, you know, who I am and all that. And so how, what was that like working with him in those three different uh, parts of the movie? I think, I think what was, what was wild for us is that, and what I love about this film is it is a completely different interpretation of Batman, which to mm-hmm. me, I loved. It was it was closer to the detective Batman. Yes. It also looked at year two Bruce Wayne, which I love that it, it wasn't the playboy billionaire Batman that we've seen in every other film. It mm-hmm. was still the kind of, it felt like a coming of age story almost of someone trying to learn what his responsibilities are on both sides as Batman and Bruce. 
But I'll tell you, when we opened the door, we hadn't seen Rob in costume. Mm -hmm. We'd seen him in the bat suit a little earlier, but we hadn't seen him as Bruce. And I was expecting to see billionaire Bruce Wayne in the suit with bodyguards. We opened it and he's there with his hair combed over wet. And I was like, it was shocking. It was genuinely yeah. shocking. In um, the best way though. In the best way. Like that's, that's this guy lost his parents and everything yeah. he knew and, and hasn't been able to get over it in a normal way. Why else would he put on a bat suit? Sure. Hey, so thanks a lot. That. Thanks for a lot for talking to me. Um, I hope to see you in the penguin HBO max series because um, you know, you're the you're the penguin guys right you're the the doorkeeper of the iceberg lounge so <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i'll, I'll go right, get matt <laughs> <laughs> thanks for listening to the bof social hour jet's official vlog and podcast on batman on film follow jet on twitter at batman on film follow the bof news feed on twitter at the batman on film for jet and everyone at bof i'm announcer rachel Authoritative, definitive, the original, Batman on film, established in 1998.